And yeah, don't forget data. As part of step zero, we're still talking about step zero, machine learning just simply does not work without data. And this should seem obvious now that I've talked on and on about how this is expressing yourself with data, with examples, and yet I still end up in these consultation situations where people ask me like, if the thing can know that this one is from Canada when I have never given it any information about Canada. You're like, well, uh, if there's nothing to learn from and if you have no examples of what's relevant, then how are you possibly going to make up the idea of Canada out of nowhere? You can't do that. And then even worse on that one, I was like, so what, what are these objects that you have information about that you're trying to predict what country they're from? They're like, oh, we actually don't have data on them either. We just have the country names. I hope that you won't be in, that, in the situation of trying to proceed too far with that with a straight face, right? You will see why that's a problem. You need the ingredients to learn from, otherwise there's nothing to base your recipe on. At best, it will just be predict the most common country in the set, like we did with our regression example. We just use the average calories every time. Same here, it'll just give you, most of them are from this country, just keep repeating that. And you, if it's never seen Canada, it's not gonna make Canada up for you. You need the data to learn from. So if you know you don't have access to data, or you don't have access to the hardware that's gonna move the data around, fix that first before you go to machine learning.